thousands of people from all over the world will be in town for the 2013 World Dairy Expo. This is the largest dairy focused event in the world as the Farm Bay reminds us all the time. Mm -hmm. Mary Jo's over at the Alliant Energy Center with more on what you can expect to see. Good morning, Rob and Charlotte. And obviously, World Dairy Expo is a very big deal here around our area. And there's thousands of people from all over the world, thousands of cattle from all over the world. So with us this morning to start us off is Janet Keller, the Communications and Public Relations Manager for the Expo. So Janet, for starters, if people aren't quite familiar, what is it World Dairy Expo and what's the economic impact on our area? Sure, this is the largest event that's held in Madison. So we'll be expecting 70,000 people from all over the world all coming here for the dairy industry and the technologies and information and most importantly the dairy cattle show that's held here. And why is this something important to consistently hold here in the Madison area each year? How important is it? This is very important. The economic impact, the direct spending last year in Madison area alone was 19 million. The, the economic impact in the whole area was 51 million. And so it's, it's a definitely an important issue for our economics here in the state of Wisconsin. Um, and a lot of the companies that are global in the dairy business are based right here in our state. And very fitting, obviously, being the Dairyland State. So, Janet Collier, thank you so much. We're going to switch things over and meet Billy Latire here. I'm going to swing around here. And you are a farmer in Washington State. Yes. And you've brought a friend with you. Who's this? This is um, my 10-month-old heifer, Lights. She will be exhibited later on this afternoon, about 2.30. Um, so she's getting ready to go back and get her hair and makeup done. And being that you came so far, I guess, what does it mean to you to be out here? What's it like being a dairy farmer? showing at the expo showing is my life i travel all over the country working not only for myself but for other people and this is a passion no different than anybody else has a passion well i can imagine i mean she looks beautiful now but there has to be a ton of work that goes into getting her ready can you talk a little bit about that yeah you have to not only condition her body wise but you also have to train her to perform in the show ring and and work with you on your commands and everything so that she gives shows her best so how long does that training take? Is it days? Months. Months. <laughs> what about, I mean, I always hear about the washing and the combing. How does that all work and what do you have to do? Um, we generally at home throughout the year, we wash them at least once, twice, three times a week. When it gets closer to show, they get washed almost every day. And what do you get out of the expo being that you come here, obviously you're meeting people from all over the world, cattle from all over the world. Uh, what's the most important thing for you to take away each time you come? The times you get to spend with friends from all over the country and all over the world that you've met through the years and everything. And, mm -hmm. of course, the competition. And getting a chance to show off? <laughs> yes. All right, well, Billy Latire, thank you so much for being with us. Janet Keller, thank you for being with us as well. The World Dairy Expo is going on from, starts today and will go until October 5th this Saturday. Admission is $30 for our kids ages 12 and up and you can find all that information at the worlddairyexpo.com website and we'll also have that on our channel3000.com site later on today as well. Robin Charlotte. Okay. Thank you, Mary Jo. Thank you. All right, quarter. Okay, from cattle to robots to shows, this year's World Dairy Expo has it all. This event brings together thousands of people from all over the world. Mary Jo is at Aligned Energy Center in Madison with more. Good morning again, Robin Charlotte, and there are going to be hundreds of exhibitors from all over the country and the world here showcasing at the World Dairy Expo. So there's a lot to learn, a lot to check out. So for starters, we're going to meet with Peter Leibeka with the president of Lely. So good morning, Peter. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so for starters, we have some of these robots around us that I really have no idea what they are. Can you talk about what this one is? Yep, we, we are here in, in front of, uh, of the exhibit uh, where we show uh, the robot equipment what we have uh, today. Uh, we started out 20 years ago with robotic milkers and today we have a whole range uh, of, uh, of robots here behind us uh, to help people in the barn uh, to, uh, to get their, uh, their work done. So you've come a long way since you first started, is that right? Yes, we certainly did. Uh, from uh, milking the cows uh, with, uh, with the Lely astronaut, the robots, and uh, to uh, feeding them. Uh, today with, an, uh, with the Lely Vector, the robot, uh, and a lot of pieces uh, in between. Can you talk a little bit about maybe how the machines that we have here behind us um, are helping the dairy industry and what you would want people to know about them? Yeah, I mean, what we have seen in the dairy industry is it's, uh, it's very labor intense, as we all know. Uh, there is always a lot to do on a dairy farm, uh, and producers are always busy uh, <laughs> from sunup to sundown. 
A lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. Yeah, and uh, uh, that's where we uh, we found a need. Uh, where, where we see a need uh, for uh, robotic equipment. Uh, what is able to help uh, the dairy producers uh, to uh, to get uh, get it done. And yeah, that starts, of course, with uh, with the milking of the cows. Uh, but it's that's not where it stops. Uh, and now you're looking at the feed. And Peter, I have to ask you. There's this big machine over here. Can you tell us anything about it? What does it do, and how does sure. it help? Yeah, this is a fully automated uh, feeding system. Uh, what goes to the kitchen uh, to uh, to find the right ratio and uh, loads itself. It uh, goes back to the cows. Start putting the feed in front of the cows, uh, and is even able to push it up when the cows are uh, kicking it back. Mm -hmm. uh, so a fully automated system. Uh, what uh, can feed uh, the cows around the clock? And Peter, where is your company based out of? Our uh, our company is uh, is based out of uh, the Netherlands. Uh, we started out. Uh, uh, 58, 59 years ago in uh, in Europe, uh, and uh, that's where our base is. And today we are working out of uh, Pella, Iowa, where we uh, started our new facility two years ago. And real quick, being that you started in the Netherlands, what does it mean for you to be here now in the United States, sharing your research and your technology? Yeah, this is of course, as for every company, a great opportunity uh, to be active in the North American marketplace uh, with 10 mil million cows uh, around us. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, this is really uh, embracing the future of the dairy industry, and we are glad to be part of it. Well, thank you so much, Peter, for being with us, and you've come to the right place. We are the Dairyland State here in Wisconsin, so thank you again. And you can check out the World Dairy Expo that starts today, runs until this Saturday, and admission is thirty dollars for kids ages twelve and up. And you can find all that information at WorldDairyExpo.com, <clears throat> and we'll have that on our Channel3000.com website as well later on today. Robin Charlotte. Okay, thank you. Thank you.